Oh, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's Nicole Coustier from Aurelian Coaching. And I am here to teach you today about the mindset shift that you can use to make this year different. Certainly different than 2020, and it might even be different than any other year that you've been trying to meet your goals and manage your competing priorities and all the things. This is what I want you to do differently this year. I want you to recognize that how you interpret the things that happen, how you interpret your circumstances, how you interpret what somebody does or doesn't do or what somebody says or doesn't say, influences 100% of your experience. And because how you interpret your circumstances, because that influences how you experience your life and your work, it will actually influence how you feel and how you behave. Okay, so if you are looking for a way for things to be different in 2021 than they have been in the past, and it could be anything, right? It could be that, uh, you know, you didn't quite meet your work work goals or your professional development goals last year, and you really want to hit it out of the park this year. Or maybe it's something just personal. Maybe it's health and wellness and well-being. Maybe you want to be less stressed this year. And what a lot of people think is that their circumstances have to change. Their situation has to change. Other people need to change in order for them to feel less stressed. Guys, it turns out that's not the case at all. And in fact, waiting for your circumstances to change and for other people to change means that you are putting off a different outcome in your life than you need to. You can change it today. And it all has to do with how you interpret what happens. So let me give a little bit of an example. Um, there's a situation where there was a meeting called uh, in a business and there were three employees in a conference room waiting for the boss to come in. And so when the boss comes in to this critical meeting, the boss says, guys, we didn't make our numbers last quarter. Okay. Those three employees sitting in that room, sitting in that conference room, have completely different reactions. The first employee feels totally dejected. It just like failure is and just upset and disappointed. This is what rules that person's reaction. The second employee has a different reaction and is completely, utterly confused, <laughs> totally baffled by what the boss said. The third employee is crazy excited, just brimming with excitement and motivation. All that happened was the boss walked into the conference room and said, guys, we didn't make our numbers last quarter. That is the circumstance. That is the only fact. And that is what happened. Everybody saw the same thing. Why? Why on earth would three different employees have such completely different reactions? And it's because of how they interpreted the boss's statement, right? The first person interpreted the boss saying that as some sort of reflection on his or her performance. Like the team didn't do what they were supposed to do. You guys failed. We were supposed to meet our, our numbers last quarter and we didn't and it's your fault. What are you guys doing? What am I paying you for, right? Now, did the boss say all those things? No, no. But in that person's mind, the lens through which they're interpreting the information, right, made them feel failure and disappointment and not being enough and falling short, all of these things, right? 
Now, what did that second employee interpret those boss's words to mean? That, that employee was completely confused, right? That employee is genuinely curious about what happened. What do the data show? I know we all did our best. We would have expected to meet our numbers. Why didn't that happen? I, I want to see, I want to know and surface all of the reasons so that maybe we can change something. That person is confused, but they're interested and they're curious because they're interpreting the boss's words to mean, oh, we got to change something. So what do we need to do to change it? Right? Unlike the first employee, this person didn't take it as a personal affront on performance. They could have just as well done that, but they didn't, but they didn't. Now, what about that third employee? The person who is crazy excited. What on earth could explain that, right? That person could have heard the boss's words, guys, we didn't make our numbers last quarter as an opportunity. Aha, there's a gap, there's a shortcoming. Now, if I were to knock it out of the park next quarter, I could be a hero here. I could be the one that really demonstrates value to this organization and that's who I want to be and that's what I want to do. So I just use this example to illustrate that everybody experienced the same thing. Boss walking in, making a statement and three different people made it mean totally different things. And as a result of how they interpreted the boss's words and the boss's demeanor and the, and the boss's tone, all of that interpretation influences their experience. It generates an emotion in them and it generates a certain behavior, right? The person who feels like a failure and is super disappointed in him or herself is going to behave completely differently than the person who's genuinely confused. And that person is going to behave completely differently than the person who's crazy excited and motivated. How you interpret your events, your circumstances, your situations, what people do or say, all of that, what you make it mean, influences how you feel and therefore what you do. So if you are looking to make some changes in 2021, if you want to have a different experience in 2021, if you want to have different results in 2021 than you have ever had before, Stop waiting for other things to change. Stop waiting for circumstances to change and your situation. Stop waiting for your husband to be different. <laughs> Stop waiting for your kids to, to do and say different things. Stop waiting for your boss to finally get it or your coworkers to be different. Stop and instead, Surface your own interpretations about what you're making all of this mean and see if there might be a different interpretation that serves you better. That is going to put you in an emotional space to behave differently and to take control of your life, make different decisions than you've made before. But it has to start with what the heck am I making this mean? And is that helping me at all? So this is, this can be hard work. People come to me all the time. And when I, when I tell them about this, they say, but Nicole, there is only one way to interpret that. There is no other way to interpret my situation. And you know what? It's not true. It's not true. There's a reason why 
a thousand different people can be in the exact same situation and have completely different outcomes. I challenge you in 2021 to think differently about your circumstances, to think differently about the people you interact with and your job and your home life and the pandemic and whatever else that might be upsetting. This is the challenge for 2021. See if you can interpret these things differently in a way that is helpful to you and it doesn't hold you back and hold you down. If you'd like help with this, brainstorming about this, I would love to talk to you. So go to aureliancoaching.com. There are plenty of buttons for scheduling a consult with me. Drop something into my calendar, right? And if there's something in a particular where in 2021, you want to do it differently, you want to think about it differently, you want different results, but you can't get off of a thought that is not serving you, and you can't find any other way to interpret something except a way that is holding you back, let's walk through it. Let's do it, okay? So go to aureliancoaching.com, look at, uh, there's a number of buttons for schedule a consult. Just click on that, drop something to my calendar and I'd love to talk to you. Okay guys, I hope this was helpful. I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.